All right, hey. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna talk about the Persian Radif workshop that is beginning this weekend for European and Asian time zones. All right. Persian Radif workshop will cover the key melodic con content of the Radif of traditional Persian music. We'll study the melodic development of a few of the most important melodies present in each of the Persian modes, or Dastga, to give a nice overview of the most important melodic features of the Radif. The Radif is essential to be studied by all students of Persian music. And in this workshop, all instrumentalists or composers are welcome. However, you'll gain the most if, if you can play an instrument that's capable of microtones, something that's fretless or something with uh, microtonal uh, frets. Or you can just use your voice to copy the melodies as best as you can. I'll be demonstrating phrase by phrase some of the key gouche in the radif. Gouche are the, these small melodies that are compiled in the radif. And these are the, gonna be the ones that highlight the most important melodic developments of each dastga, or each mode in Persian music. I'll be analyzing the gouche as well, um, so that you can get an idea of where the melody is going and how all these are interconnected. I'll be choosing several key gouche from each daska as well to study. By the end of the workshop, you'll have a better understanding of how to interpret the written radif, the notes, for example, and how to replicate the essence of the melody on your particular instrument. It will be an overview of the whole radif, so all the daska, all the avas will be covered. We'll also discuss briefly how to use these melodic themes, the gouche, in your improvisation and composition. We'll be looking at examples of songs that are using these melodies so that you can hear exactly where a gouche is being played in a piece of music, for example. So, for example, I want to go into that uh, briefly here. Okay. So there is a avaz or a mode called afshari, and afshari has some. It's usually lumped in with daska heshur. Daska heshur, avaz dashti, um, abu ata, bayat chord, and avaz afshari and bayat torque are usually kind of lumped in together as being under um, kind of one system. They're kind of considered as derivative modes from Shur. And we're going to see exactly why that is and how that works. 
But for example, I want to show you some of the features here of Avaz Afshari. Avaz Afshari is a funny one because we have a variable note that is used a lot differently than in uh, the other daska, the other modes. Afshari uses or what we call the A koron or La koron here and also La bekar or A natural both in the same kind of in the same zone The finalis of the or uh, the last ending note, the resolution note, tends to be A and F, and then a really final note would be F. So we kind of have, or we're going to look at the different tetrachords or pentachords that go into each of these daska, and I'm going to then show you like uh, the gushes itself, the the most important ones and analyze them and then we'll look at a piece of music that uses these gushe. For example, an example of a piece in Afshari. First, it starts off using the A natural or La Bekar with a pause on the E half flat. So I misspoke earlier there. Um, I meant to say E half flat is one of the pausing notes where I said uh, A la coron or A half flat is, um, is a pausing note, but it's actually uh, E half flat. So in this song, we have a melody that uses the A natural, and then right away, right after, we have a, a melody that uses the A half flat or la coron. So this is one of the highlights or one of the key features of Afshari that we're going to learn and we're going to see how it works in relation to the Radif and the key gushe that use this. Very beautiful melody. I'm just going to repeat that melody one more time for you. playing this song so uh, forgive me for that all right so during these uh, lectures students won't be required to play um, you'll just be listening your everyone will be muted so that you're free to emulate the melodies with me together as your guide um, and of course you can unmute um, when asking questions so right now the early bird price is over unfortunately it was $79 um, until August 22nd but now for the next two days it's $99 to enroll the link is in the description and um, it's going to be 
So basically, $99 for eight hours of instruction in the Persian Radif. And of course, a recording of the workshop will be provided. The whole thing is going to be recorded, and I'll be uploading each recording um, every day after the workshop. And it'll be four sessions, two hours each, August 28th, 29th, September 4th, and September 5th. And it'll be suitable for European time zones and Asian time zones. So in the UK, it'll be 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central European time zone, it'll be 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, in Jerusalem, it'll be 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. In Indonesia, Malaysia, it'll be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Australia, uh, Perth, it'll be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Australia, Sydney, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And in Japan, it'll be uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So basically, you're going to have two weekends where you're going to have intense Radif lessons, um, two hours per day. And we're going to try to, do, it may go over time every, every day, we'll see how things go. Um, but uh, we're going to focus a good hour on, uh, we're going to try to go first hour on one daska, or one mode. But uh, other modes are going to seep in there as well. So in terms of um, what level you need to be at in order to participate in this course, it would be best if you, you know, have a pretty decent facility on your instrument, let's say upper intermediate level to advanced level. Um, however, you know, if you're really keen, it, if, you, if your level is below that, that's, uh, that's fine. Um, if you're not sure, you can always email me at support at oodforguitarist.com. Uh, send me a clip of your playing and let me know if you're uh, if you're having doubts if this is going to be ready for good for you I'll let you I'll send you an email and let you know if I think it's appropriate for you um, it would be nice to have a, a bit of an ability to sight read music um, at least at maybe an intermediate level um, learning by ear if you can learn by ear that's great that's fantastic because um, you don't need to necessarily read the good the radif to be able to uh, learn it you can you do it by ear too but your ear needs to be pretty good for it and um, yeah so the first day we are going to uh, look at shur and the avaz so for example avaz um, afshari no no not afshari uh, abu ata dashti bayat torq and avaz uh, bayat accord then um, on the second second day we're going to be looking at afshari sega and Humayun and Esfahan. On the third day, we're going to look at Mahur and Chaharga. On the fourth day, we're going to look at Nava and Ras Panjaga. Yeah, so um, you, all the materials are going to be provided in the course. Uh, PDF copies of the Radif. Two versions of the Radif will be provided. Um, and we're going to talk about this. And we're going to, you're going to be able to uh, really be able to interpret um, how the Radif is notated. It's very difficult to interpret the radif without being able to hear the gushe and hear it being performed. So this will be a great opportunity to uh, get into that. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions here. Let's see. All right, not so many questions right now. If you do have questions, you can always email me at uh, support at Here we go. Put that in the chat. There you go. All right. So this is uh, this is not really an oud. This is uh, this is what's called in Turkish jumbush, and uh, it's mimicked after an oud. So it basically plays and is tuned like an oud. Um, but uh, it's not necessarily an oud. Um, it's been modified by um, a luthier named Sylvain in France. He's added the nice beautiful neck and the um, ribs here. It's got a great sound. I really enjoy this instrument. <laughs> to torque for you now.
this mode by the torque is related to Dasko Heshur in the Persian Radif workshop. So I hope to see you there. If you have questions, check the links in the description. Uh, the link to enroll is also in the description. So check that out. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to be answering questions for the next couple of days while enrollment is still open. And I uh, hope to see you on Saturday. Thanks. Bye.